In today's episode, the bells of new business ring loud and true. I get laughed at for not knowing what a value proposition is before finally being served this white hot content jeopardy. The event relies upon the success of this mission. Welcome to day two at the new Go HQ. Walking around with urgency. Yeah. Day two. Good morning, Aaron Shepherd. Are you ready for another day in paradise? Yeah, I just need to go to the loo first. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Jacob Sherman, your Hello. first day in the office. I wore my orange shoes to match. Even just like having orange and our logos, I forgot what that kind of felt like to have a space that felt like yours, looked like yours. Yeah. Yes, we're back. May I film you? Yeah, what's up? Working hard? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? God, you march across to give a high five or a hug. What's uh, it going to be? Come on. Come on. It's been a lot of pleasure. Um, it's, only, it's only one grand. One grand? No, I'm joking. 73,000 GBP. Not bad? Not bad. How, we'll take it. How does it feel, ringing the, ringing the bell? You know what? I wasn't here pre, pre-COVID, so I never had a chance to, to do it. So. I, I think we're getting a much, much larger one. We need a bigger one. Does that make you feel jealous? <laughs> when you hear the bell being rung? Yeah, it does a bit, yeah. That's part of it. Times will come, times will go. You know, if the bell would have been here last week, I would have rung it four times. It's that whole thing, context, mate. That's what you do. You're the storyteller. Okay. You, you go out and tell that story. Good lad. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's our value proposition? <laughs> you know, our value proposition ultimately is to create the best, most engaging content for clients across all of our markets. As you can see here, we work in over 70 countries, almost 30 languages as well, so we are now the only real, truly scaled global influencer offering in the market, which is great when we're talking to our biggest clients like Unilever, Nestle, Coca-Cola, L'Oreal, etc. Bit of a misconception we've been battling with over the years that influencers kind of only really do awareness, for example. And then in reality, what we find is using influencers in certain ways and making content in certain ways and delivering in certain ways, you can achieve a whole bunch of outcomes and you can tie it all together to create proper full funnel strategy. I learned too much and then I, I there was so much information going in that I forgot all of it. <laughs> God, what swag. Right. Let's eat. You've grown these people from very junior members of staff to people that are now talking centre stage in WPP. There's a load of people in here, been with us six, seven years, who were kids, right? Who were in their early 20s, first job, who were always talented, mm. but needed experience to go along with that. And really what we've given them is experience and support, but all the growths come through them being great and them working really hard. You give good, talented people opportunity. We've gone through a load of hiring to make sure they're smart, make sure they're empathetic, make sure that they're, they know what's going on. So now we've done our bit, we've got to give them the trust and push them. And then if you do that consistently, people develop very, very quickly. Again? Again. It's your day. I know, I've just hurt my ears from doing that. What's this one? This is a new client. Digital copyright registration company based in Spain. It's basically stopped you from plagiarizing yeah, digital artwork, things like that. Right. Um, so like any music and copywriting music. Important it's for creators. Very important for creators, myself. exactly. So we really can improve any business. Exactly. I'm liking that bell. Yeah. Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> I'm being sent on a... Uh... Yeah, you're being sent on a reconnaissance mission. Yeah. We have uh, Thursday drinks here in the opening week of this office. Uh, the lovely people at Mixton's, the cocktail company, have provided us loads of free cocktails. But unfortunately, Matthew, they've been delivered to Red Lion Street, not Red Lion Square. Someone has accepted the <laughs> six boxes of cocktails what? for free. I need you to go and find out who that is and, you know, get them back. The event, the drinks evening, relies upon the success of this mission. <laughs> right, troops! <laughs> Let's go get our alcohol. Oh shit, you'd scare me any day. We're gonna let them know that we know what they did and we're gonna get the mixins back. Let's just bang on the door. Oh, oh, Excuse me, who's, 
Yeah, you want some of this? <laughs> oh, yeah, lovely. We did it! Do you think it was because they were so intimidated that yes, they just caved? They gave it up right away. Yeah. Oh my god, they're heavier than I thought. Mixed and recovered. What do I win? Would you like to come and blow up some balloons for tomorrow's party? Last thing I'd want to do. <laughs> <laughs> you look ancient with those in your head. <laughs> Fuck! Well, day two, uh, to uh, 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 day two has been fabulous. Can I have some quiet, please? <laughs> it's been another busy day. Lots of people in. Feels like old times. We'll see you tomorrow for the party. Those sofas in the old office. They were, yeah. Same ones. They're very good to jump on. Okay, jump. Yeah. So, stay there. Oh, okay. New office. Oh, new office. What's the game plan? <laughs>